Uh, hi, uh, my name is Yuki. Uh, I'm a, a principal architect from DataStax and a long time Vajik Sandra committer. Uh, today, uh, I'd like to show my uh, work that I've been working on for quite a while, which is a open telemetry integration into Apache Cassandra. So uh, how many of you know about the uh, open telemetry project? And do you already deploy open telemetry to your environment? No? OK. Uh, yes. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, the talk about you know using open telemetry to send all the uh, telemetry from Apache Cassandra, and I like to show my uh, demo in this session, so you can maybe in the future, in you know, if you deploy Apache Cassandra with open telemetry, you can get much more insight in in one place. So. Open telemetry, this is a open source project hosted on CNCF. And historically, it is a you know, merging project between uh, the open tracing project and, and open sensors project. It provides a observability framework, so you can use open telemetry to instrument your application. It is a language agnostic, so you know if your application is all you known whether it's, it's written in Java, Python, or Go, you can use open telemetry to instrument your application. And it also provides a specification to send those telemetries out to any APMs that supports open telemetry. So uh, this is taken from the, the uh, website. Uh, and yeah, it's basically just you know, what I said. And the other thing, important thing for this project is it's vendor agnostic. So whether you use open source Prometheus, Jaeger for tracing, or if you prefer to use commercial offerings like Datadog and Splunk, you know, they also support open telemetry. So you can you know, choose between those uh, products to use to, to monitor your, your application. So uh, here's why I decided to, you know, work on this, my own personal project. So as a consultant at DataStax, my part of my job is to you know, troubleshoot various problems in customers' uh, cluster. Right? And to do so, I need the information from the customer's cluster. So I ask a DBA what query is they, the application is running, or you know, can you show me the metrics, or can you get me the logs? And oftentimes, yes, uh, they set up the, the monitoring system to, to get all the, the metrics from the Cassandra cluster. But when I ask about the application query, you know, the people I interact with are mostly the DBAs, and they don't know the answer. So they need to ask the app team to, for, the, for the schema and queries and write, you know, read and write patterns. And that takes time to, to get me uh, information. And the logs. Uh, if, if the the project is is you know rich in budget, they have a log collector you know system set up in, in their their uh, application. So you know they can go into the, the central place to to look for the log. But most of the time they don't have those uh, luxury stuff. So you know people need to log into each node in the Cassandra cluster and get me the log. So. Before I start analyzing things, there's a huge uh, gap or wait time to, to you know, collect those information. And when those are in my hand, I just start piecing all those together to do the troubleshooting. Right? So yeah, those you know, application logs, uh, I mean the query logs, the metrics, and actual Cassandra node logs, those are the, the key to this, the, the system's observability. So, uh, you know, if you, if you look up the, the observability and, and search for the web, you know, you can see these uh, keywords, three pillars of observability, and which are the tracing metrics and logs. And these are the things actually already Cassandra has in a long time uh, for the tracing no, we have a tracing on capability since Cassandra 
And you know, if you if you turn on the tracing and you know run your uh, SQL query, it logs all the internal stuff into the Cassandra table, so you can take a look at uh, you know what's going on when you run so, you know, when you run the SQL query. All the metrics, uh, Cassandra is instrumented uh, with a metrics library, and it has a a uh, huge amount of uh, metrics that you know you can you can uh, extract it from, and because uh, the Cassandra is Java application, those are by default are exposed to the Java's uh, you know the uh, no, you know formal JMX uh, method to get the data, and the logs uh, Cassandra has a logback library built into it, and by default it uh, emits the, the unstructured log to the file. But you know, getting all those data out from the Cassandra cluster is, as I described, is very hard for all the people sometimes. And tracing, there's no way to export in the current state. So it is in the, in the Cassandra table, so you, you can just dump those uh, stuff uh, into CSV, but still, you know, you need to, you know, collidate with other stuff by hand. Uh, metrics, yes, it is exposed to JMX, but you need to somehow uh, install JMX exporters to, to get the, the data out. And the logs, uh, yeah, you need the file uh, tailing stuff to, to extract the logs as well. And it is unstructured, so, Sometimes, if you get the ex, you know, exception as all the error, you know you need the real stuff to to actually preserve the, the stack trace from the log. So here comes the open telemetry. As I uh, mentioned earlier, open telemetry defines uh, the way to export these uh, three pillars of you know telemetry through the uh, standardized protocol. So. Integrating open telemetry into Cassandra will make our life easier to extract those observability telemetries uh, into the uh, external system. So, yes, yeah. if you have open telemetry capability, you can export these three pillars of observability to, to any APMs that you are using currently. So I'd like to show uh, the demo that I built, or I, I you know, I've been building for for a uh, year now. And sorry, this is a small diagram, but you can you can see this in my my GitHub uh, repository that I can uh, show you later. But I set up the Kubernetes cluster on Amazon. I deployed a three-node Cassandra cluster that I you know also instrumented with Open Open Telemetry. And I deploy the uh, web application, which is built uh, using the Spring Boot framework. And all those a application and Cassandra node are deployed with a open telemetry collector as a sidecar. So uh, you know each application servers or each Cassandra node can send uh, telemetries to to that collector. And there's also a, a centralized open telemetry collector cluster that you know forwards those uh, telemetries to outside outside system. And I, uh, for this demo, I set up this centralized, centralized open telemetry collector to send the gathered telemetry to uh, Datadog, uh, Honeycomb, and a, yeah, AWS uh, you know, CloudWatch. So I'd like to demo uh, my application here. So this is a, a, uh, a Spring Boot uh, application, and it talks to the Cassandra and reads these, uh, you know, products information uh, from the Cassandra cluster. So you know, if I click on the T-shirts category, it shows all the T-shirts, and if I click on the products, then yeah, it shows the product. And these data are fetched from the Cassandra, and every time I, you know access these URLs, it generates the telemetry, both from application as well as a Cassandra node. 
And this is uh, the data log uh, dashboard that I set up. And it is uh, in, you know, getting the data from the open telemetry collector in real time. And if I, for example, access a product. So uh, maybe so this is a, a trace from the application, you know, to, to get the, the product pricing. And if I go into this, uh, as you can see, uh, you can see the tracing from your application as well as what's what's happening in Apache Cassandra. And you can see the query that this application is, is, is you know, executing, as well as what's happening on, on each node when the Cassandra is uh, doing uh, when executing this query in distributed way. Uh, right now, you know, it is a, emitting the same information as a Apache Cassandra tracing. Uh, so uh, things like a, you know, lead, request message received, those are the, the exact same uh, events that you, know, you can see in the, in the Apache Cassandra tracing. If you, you know, go into the metrics, uh, you, know, you can uh, get the various Cassandra metrics in, in the same data log uh, application. So you, know, you can, you can like, show the compaction you know, why it's compacted, and, and, and you, can, you can create a dashboard from these metrics. And I also send uh, the log file from the, the uh, Cassandra. So, you know, these are the, the, all the log file that's emitted from every node in the Cassandra. So, uh, you know, using this open telemetry instrumentation, you can send the three key uh, telemetries to, uh, you know, one central place. The same telemetries are actually sent to other APMs like Honeycomb, and you can see uh, the tracing in Honeycomb as well. So these are the other uh, you know, URL access, and as you can see, it shows the application tracing as well as the Cassandra tracing in one place. The same thing for CloudWatch, you know. Uh, you can get the tracing from uh, yeah, uh, Amazon X-Ray, just like we, you know, I showed in the other uh, APM applications. So. As you can see, you know, integrating open telemetry into Cassandra has a many, many potential for, for a operators of, of Cassandra to, to troubleshoot the internal of Cassandra in one place. And open telemetry also has a capability to, to collidate each of these telemetries together. So uh, if I, you know, put more effort into this demo and put more uh, implementation to this, uh, you know, I can probably, you know, actually collidate tracing metrics and logs in, in, in more meaningful way. Uh, so the highlights of the demo is uh, application like Cassandra sent telemetries via open, you know, standardized open telemetry protocol, and the collector will export it to various APMs, so you can monitor these telemetries in one place. Uh, the code for this demo is available under my uh, GitHub, uh, Cassandra 5.0 modification with open telemetry and the application side as well. And the last one also has the, the same diagram that I show in this session. Uh, so uh, let's take a look at uh, the implementation side. The goal of this uh, implementation is actually, you know, enable you know, operators to easily turn on this feature and sending the, the key, you know, telemetries to, to outside world. So uh, I'd like to add uh, one, only one 
Cassandra YAML configuration, open telemetry enabled, to, um, and you now if, if the, the operator turns on this, uh, you know, the Cassandra can immediately send telemetry outside to the cluster. But of course, uh, you know, there's a couple of things you want to, to configure. So uh, I use this open telemetry SDK or configure uh, extension so that the when, when necessary, the operators can customize their open telemetry uh, you know, properties uh, as they deploy the Cassandra. So uh, in my demo, I used a environmental variables to specify, for example, open telemetry service name or uh, some sampler configuration uh, like this. But you can also use a Java properties to, to configure things. So, uh, you know, you can put the, the same information in jvm.options file to, to configure these, these behaviors. And to, to enable a open telemetry tracing, uh, I need to, to change a couple of things. So the first thing is the, you know, taking the same tracing context from the application. So uh, for that uh, application needs to send the, the tracing uh, context information to Cassandra, and Cassandra also uh, need to, to propagate the tracing context information to other node. And there's a couple of places that I need, need to be modified. And one is a native protocol level. Uh, but uh, fortunately, uh, current native protocol supports uh, no, adding custom header uh, to, to its, its, its uh, messaging. So, uh, I can just use a standardized tracing context format there to you know, get the context from the application and propagate it to, to Cassandra node. And for the, for the messaging between the Cassandra nodes, uh, we already have a Cassandra tracing uh, capability, so you know, which does the, the similar uh, tracing you know, propagation between the nodes. So uh, you know, all, all I can, you know, all I need, needed to do was to add the new message type, uh, trace context, and just realize you know, what the, the necessary uh, attributes into the, the messaging header, just like a current Apache Cassandra tracing does. So to you know, put these tracing uh, context in the, in the same uh, tracing ID. And for the metrics, uh, I, I don't, I don't uh, think, you know, changing everything and instrument uh, using only the open telemetry you know, takes very, very long time and, and you know, it needs to you know, make a huge change to the client call base. So uh, what I did here is to uh, listen to the, the you know, metric registry and as the new metric uh, is registered through this uh, current uh, metrics library, uh, I can just uh, you know put the listener to listen to the metrics and um, the uh, open telemetry SDK. Uh, you can just you know pull the current metrics and expose it to the open telemetry protocol. So uh, I use that to you know not change the current code base, but only you know add one more layer to to extract the metrics. And for the logs, uh, the Cassandra used logback library to, to write the logs to file. And OpenTelemetry Java project has this logback adapter to actually you know, change the, the logback log event into the OpenTelemetry log event uh, object and send it to the OpenTelemetry protocol. So uh, I added one line into the logback XML to use this open telemetry logback adapter. And, and that's all. And, and it, you know, it just starts sending the log to, to outside world. So uh, all of these uh, changes uh, that I mentioned in today's session, I'm drafting the official CEP, CEP32, to make it uh, the, the default uh, Cassandra feature in the future release of Cassandra. It is still uh, in the draft uh, state. Uh, I started writing like a year ago, 
uh, when when the open telemetry standard uh, standards are still uh, evolving. So I need to, to update uh, to the current state of open telemetry, and I need to, to update my code base to to you know to uh, apply to to Cassandra trunk branch. But uh, all the you know information that I you know give today are uh, more described in this uh, CP that I'm working on. So uh, that's my uh, session today. And I'd like to hear more from you about this CP. And you can uh, reach me with this uh, YUKIM handle uh, on Apache Slack or GitHub or, or Twitter. Uh, or you can just email me to the Apache uh, mail. mail. Uh, so no, we can we can discuss more on the topic uh, to to make yeah this uh, official Cassandra feature. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for for listening. And if you have any questions, I can uh, answer. Yes. Uh, okay, uh, the question is about the latency impact when you enable the tracing. And I say yes, but I didn't do any performance impact analysis. But uh, as I show here, you can uh, actually you know, tweak your sampling rate, for example, to, to get the tracing on you know, how frequently you want to to uh, generate these, these metrics, so uh, maybe you can you can you know tweak that to yeah make the performance impact minimal. Uh, okay. Uh, the question is: Does this work on four dot x? Uh, when I started uh, this. You know, work. Uh, the, it's, it was for 4.0, so I have a 4.0 uh, version of demo from last year, but I updated this to use 5.0 uh, for this year's presentation. And but I don't have any uh, 4.1 uh, implementation for this, but it can be easily adapted. Uh, I think uh, the, the porting from 4.0 to 5.0 was very, very minimal change, so. Right, uh, if there's no questions, thank you very much for coming to my talk, and I hope to, yeah, see you soon.